Hello, welcome back to my channel, Jordan, Mind, Body, and Soul, where we learn to take care of ourselves, mind, body, and soul. And if this is your first time at this channel, welcome. This is a channel where we often talk about health, wellness, spirituality, anything dealing with connection of the mind, body, and soul, and bettering yourself. And today, I wanted to talk about my two-year lock journey. So I'm going to jump right into it. So first, I think it's only right to start with showing you where I'm at. You can't really tell, but I have temporary dye in my hair. It's like a burgundy color, but I've washed my hair now probably about three times. So it's it's faded out a bit. But these are these are my locks. These are my babies. This is what I'm working with right now. I'm going to take them out, of course, so that they can be crinkly and cute. But right now, I'm just wearing this style. And yes, I did it myself. I do retwist my hair myself um, right now. And... I don't know i think that's part of the journey too um so the first thing i wanted to go into is time flies when i look up and i'm like oh my god i've had locks for two years oh you know and i'm just marking different milestones for my locks i'm like looking at how fast time has truly gone by and it has um when i was probably about like right here probably i can maybe like clip a video or a clip a picture of the video when my locks were at that stage and they hadn't like locked yet, I was really, really considering combing my hair out. So let me just tell you this, time flies and be patient with your process and your journey, just like I would recommend any process or journey in life. If you're looking at other people and you're like, dang, like I wanna be there, I wanna be there. You can get there and you may get there, you know, but you have to enjoy your process. So that's the biggest thing, enjoy your process process enjoy your lock journey because it's that it's tailored to you it's unique to you so embrace it um if you are looking at certain um uh, methods of like lock extensions and stuff me personally i don't want to do it i want to just let it vibe out take my time i'll get to where i'm supposed to get where i'm supposed to get there but um that's also an option for people i'm not very well versed on that topic but i know that it's an option other than that take your time enjoy your journey because like i said time flies anyway so before you know it you know your hair will start you know it'll be here it'll be here for me with the current length that i have like i don't even notice how long my hair is until i wash it or until i have to retwist other than that to me it feels like when i first got my locks so that's something to consider. Um, I have my little notebook here that's going to help me make sure I stay on track. Um, so just like with the natural hair um, process and journey, I've learned that with the lock journey is you're constantly learning. You're constantly, constantly learning. Because for me, since my locks aren't freeformed and I do um, retwist them, um, I'm not really good at like keeping on schedule. I'll do it like when it's been a month or more. So sometimes it's exactly a month. Sometimes it's a month and two weeks because you know I have other things in life that I have to work my schedule around, which is okay. But um, that's as consistent as I am. So every four weeks plus is usually when I retwist my hair. And along that, um, I've been using different like products that help me with my retwist and again like I said just like with the natural hair it's a learning journey there'll be products that you're like no I can't use this um for different reasons they may have chemicals and stuff that you don't like in them or you know you may not just want to use that product <laughs> and then you'll learn that you know some things work for you that don't work for other people or some things work for other people but it didn't work for you and the best thing you can do is try it out yourself because there's been times more so with the natural hair where people said no don't do this don't do this and then i did it and then it worked for me you know what i'm saying so it's like you gotta know your hair you gotta know yourself it's a learning journey whatever works for you works for you you'll find out over time a big thing though that i do want to add to that is build up so to kind of wrap this all together, I decided that um, I will do my apple cider vinegar rinse once a year. Um, 
And then for me, it's just a time to kind of like set my intentions, you know, cleanse my hair, figure out my, you know, my, um, my goals and, you know, make sure everything is combined <laughs> my body and soul make sure i mean healthy taking care of my body um you know journaling doing what i need to do to have a mental release and then having that as like a a physical and spiritual like reset and so since i'm going to be doing the apple cider vinegar rinse once a year then you know one thing that i kind of worried about was build up product build up i had no idea what product build up was until recently so what happened was um la the last time i washed my hair so not the most recent time but the time before that when i washed my hair i saw like um residue kind of on my hair and i didn't notice that until i started using a cantu product i didn't notice the residue anytime i washed my hair until i used the cantu product there's another product that i use i think it's the african pride retwist gel is brown and I've been using that since I first started retwisting my hair two years ago. And I never had that problem. I've never seen it. So for me, I don't know if it's because of the product that I was using, a white product. People say do not use the white products when you twist your hair. I'm a living testimony because I honestly say I did not see buildup until then. Until I started using that Cantu product. And that was just when I was washing my hair. That's not when I was doing the apple cider vinegar rinse. That is what made me say, hey, what is this? And I started doing research. I realized it was build up. And then I looked into the apple cider vinegar rinse. So that product's gone. It's out of my life. <laughs> I'm not going to have to worry about that um, with that product. But I am I guess build up can still occur. Again, I'm still learning. So I'm figuring that out. But um, yeah, so I had to work like a lot of the um, build up out of my hair from that product. And I can do a whole video on the apple cider vinegar rinse because that was a whole different experience. I just kind of, I like to do like timestamps for myself so that I can see, see guys, the difference. Uh, the last time I shot the video when I was one year in, I was pregnant and out of breath, but my hair still looks so adorable. And I can see the difference even today. Like you can't, you may not be able to really see it against my clothes because of my outfit. But I, like I said, I had the temporary dye in my hair. And um, I'm just enjoying the process. Um, for me, the only thing, honestly, that I noticed a difference with myself is when I had like interviews or times where I had to like do something with my hair, I did have the question if locks were going to make me, um, if I was gonna face discrimination because of locks. And Anybody could drop like comments down below. Maybe that was just my experience. Maybe I was just tripping. But I want to know what other people feel or think about that too. Because I've never had that experience when I had natural hair. When I was a loose natural, um, I I was encouraged. I felt, you know, cool wearing my uh, big fro and stuff to an interview. But, but like, um, I don't know, with the locks, like I was like, dang, are they going to discriminate against me? Because I know so many stereotypes and views people have about people with locks and I don't like worrying about stuff like that because for me I believe in doing what I want for myself and my body and my health as long as I'm not hurting or threatening anybody else then there shouldn't be a problem so anytime I feel like I am being discriminated against or treated differently because of you know the way I look the way I talk anything like that it just makes me question um first intrinsically am I doing something wrong and then secondly, like, what's going on around me? Am I in the environment I need to be in? Because if I feel that way, right, then that's probably not an environment I need to be in anyway, because why? That's off topic. <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to do a quick update. Two years locked. Go for it. If you're thinking about getting locked, um, I say do it because it's a journey. Um, For me, I do have length goals. And then I feel like after I reach those length goals, I may cut my locks or uh, comb out my locks. I don't know. But um, I have a a dedication to like keeping my locks because I feel like multiple reasons I um, started this lock journey. But one of the biggest ones is I feel like I put so much um, just, uh, what's the word? Like I felt so beautiful with my you know loose natural hair which I I mean which I wasn't not saying that I wasn't but um 
I felt like if I didn't have that, I wouldn't be as beautiful. So when I first had my locks, I struggled with not having the big natural hair look, like questioning identity. Like, am I still pretty? Do I look good? You know, all these questions. And I'm not my hair, but it is a big part of me. So like being able to embrace myself in different parts of my life and different journeys and allow my hair to grow and experience it with me, which is something that I wanted to combined. So that was a lot just to say that again time flies so if you want to lock your hair do it just remember take your time you're learning as you go we all are there's no one who has really mastered anything there's people who may be more versed or knowledgeable but you know we're all just still learning and trying to figure things out it's not a one glove fits all type of situation so do what works for you um try different things try different styles try different products if you want a loctician and some people even say don't use products just retwist with um water and um aloe vera whatever works for you right because we can go on debate and say what you shouldn't and shouldn't eat so it's whatever it can be an all-day thing thank you <laughs> for watching and i'll catch you in the next video don't forget take care of yourself mind body and soul thank you